Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming from Beckley's Camping Center today to show you the new Transcend. Now, this is a 261BH by Grand Design. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy, but let's get onto this camper. Okay, so now when we're talking about this 261 bunkhouse, contrary to what some people might tell you, this is not a 26 foot travel trailer. It's actually 30 feet, 11 inches. Model number is not indicative of length, nor is it indicative of box size. So be sure you check that out. Check the uh, brochures if you have any questions on that, because I know there's a lot of people out there in this industry that do walk up to here and say, let me show you a 26 footer, and it's not 26 foot. The box isn't 26 foot. You're talking about, six, about 6,100 pounds dry weight with a gross vehicle weight rating of about 7,500 pounds. I will have all the specifications and the pricing at the end of this video, as well as down below. If you're liking what you're watching, please subscribe to my page, as well as uh, share it. So let's get on to this camper. So one thing you have to check out when you're looking at the, the trans ends is actually touch the metal on these and compare them to the other metal trailers that are on the market. So they're using two by twos for the framing and then they're insulating it and this metal. So the metal is a, it's a crystal coat, so it's not smooth. It's also thicker than the material, the metal that you're using on other trailers. So it's gonna be much more durable. Up in the front here, you're gonna notice how they overlap it. So that way there is water's running off it. It has no way of running into the camper. Now up in the front here, you're gonna be able to see that you're gonna have the two LP bottles, as well as you can put the batteries back behind it. We do provide one battery. You could put up to two batteries on this if you wanted to. And that would help you if you decide you want to boondock and just have 12 volt power. And to help you with the boondocking, they do have the Furion solar charge connection point there, which could extend your uh, boondocking experience. Now this particular camper is very similar to the, uh, the 247 bunkhouse. The difference is this is gonna have a slide out. So it's gonna give you a little bit more room on the interior. Now looking down your off door side, you're gonna notice that when you open up these doors, nice thing is that it does have a magnet. Notice I'm able to do that just with one hand. The storage has lights in here. It's a 30 amp camper. So you have 30 amp power cord here. But you're gonna notice these lights you can set for where they're on all the time, you're off all the time, or you can have them in the center position, meaning once you open the door, it'll sense motion and they'll turn on. Now, when you're looking at your hookup here, this is where you're gonna hook up your city water. And as you can see, you'd have this on city water. If you wanted to fill your fresh water tank, you're done camping and you want to have some fresh water, you just turn this to fresh water. It'll fill your fresh water tank. I'm going to show you a manual way you can do it as well. And I'll show you how you're going to know when it is full. Of course, you have your battery disconnect right here, cable satellite hookup, and 110 power connections here. Now, one thing you got to be careful of, you're going to bring your cable and water hose up through here and you want to make sure that you get some brass wool and put that around your your water hose and so forth keep critters from coming up in there keep that brass wool there make sure it's nice and snug in there when you have nothing in it as well because that is more than likely when the critters will try and come in now this is looking under the camper you're going to notice you're going to have four stabilizer jacks and that's just what they mean stabilizer not for um they're not for leveling your camper you're also going to have, on this particular one, you're going to have a gray tank specifically for your kitchen sink. That's going to be right here. And then right behind there, very easy for you to empty your low point drains. But you're going to notice that it is a sealed and enclosed underbelly here. Four season camper. Another thing you're gonna notice on the slide-out mechanism that they're using, this is the old proven slide-out mechanism, heavier weight, but it is uh, very easy in the, in the event you need to pull it in. Of course, you gotta get up underneath the under, underbelly, disconnect the power to the, uh, to the motor, and then you can crank it in. Now on your slide-out, due to the fact that you have the refrigerator on the slide-out, you're gonna have two vents for that. Normally you have a vent on the roof. 
um, and then one here, but it's also for maintenance. And then of course you can see that is for your vent over your cooktop. Back in this area, this is where you're going to hook up your electric. Also where you're going to be dumping your gray and black tank. This is going to be for your, for your bathroom. And then of course you do have a black tank rinse. No longer is it need, you needed to take a hose in and rinse out your black tank through the toilet. Well, this does have a walkable roof, although the Transcend Explorers do not have ladders. The regular Transcends do. But they do have, it is wide and framed for the Furion rear observation camera. You can see on this particular one, they put the water heater here, and you do have a sprayer port, so you can rinse off your dishes and put out your fire if you need to from out here. And then your furnace exhaust is right in the back corner. That's going to be under the bunk bed. Now also in the space underneath the bunk bed on the 261 is you're going to notice you have an outside kitchen area. Now you don't have the two burner cooktop like most are going to put in, that's just a drawer. You do have an outlet in here and then you have the little refrigerator. Now for those of you who want to cook out here, not a problem. You do have a LP quick connect right here and so you're able to go ahead and hook a grill or something up right here. Now you have the nice big awning out here, outside stereo speakers. And I mentioned about you for the, the manual fill of your freshwater tank, that is here. Anytime you see where the manual uh, fill is for a freshwater tank, then you know that the dump valve for that is going to be down below this area. So if you were to look right under here behind this, you can see right here, this is for your the dump valve for your freshwater tank. And then you see the blue line back there. That is so that you're able to uh, know that when it's full, water will be running out of that. So then, of course, up in the front, you have access to the storage. You can see quite a massive storage area here. And again, you have the lights. Now, another thing you're going to notice with the Transcends and even the Explorer is that the fact that it has a friction hinge on the door. Now, what does that mean? What's going to happen is it's going to take quite a wind for this thing to move this door, but more importantly, when you have little Johnny trying to slam the door, it's not going to slam on you. So that's going to help you there as well. So let's get inside this unit. So as you come up in here, I'm just going to kind of give you a little pan. So you're going to notice to the front, it's going to be the bedroom area. And of course your kitchen area. So as you come in the door, what you'll have is right here, this is a, your little area where you're going to put the slide out, your awning, your lights, you can check all your levels here, water pump and your water heater. Now I have a video which I'll link to for the water heater, For the, this is an Atwood water heater which if you operate it properly will give you almost 18 gallons of hot water an hour. So I'll have that linked for you to uh, be able to watch that as well. Now going forward, you're going to, in the front of it, this is where your bedroom's going to be. Now you're going to notice it has a nice big pocket door, so it makes the door much wider, but now the door is not in the way when it's open. This is going to be an actual residential queen bed, so that's meaning it's 60 by 80. Makes it nicer for when you have, uh, you know, regular queen sheets at the house, they're going to fit on here. You have storage on both sides as well as above the bed. Let me show you how deep that storage is there. And you have the little storage down below here. And then the nice thing is on this side, you're gonna have the 110 and the USB. Now I call these USB 12 volt. The reason why I say that, I mean, I know it's, I know it's not 12 volt, uh, but it, it is hooked to the 12 volt system. And you have a 110 outlet over there. You can go ahead and put a uh, TV up there, swivel it out. And so you have this a AC duct in here and you're able to turn it. So if you want the AC blowing down on top of you, you could do that and you can see the pocket door. So let's get out into the living area here. So right as you come in the door, you have this light switch right, well it's actually a light, it is a sensor type light, as you can see it came on. Nice thing with that, while you're camping, it's dark out, you can just leave all your lights off, you don't have the bugs up against your camper, so they're not gonna be flying in when you try to walk in the door, and now you'll be able to see where the, your, all your switches are and so forth. 
And right as you come in the door there, that's where you're going to notice you have a place to you know, kick off your shoes, maybe put some slippers, whatever you want to do there. And you have two nice drawers here, nice little counter space above there, and 110 outlet so you can use that while you're sitting in the dinette or if you just want to set your, your um, recharge your phones, your iPad, things of that nature, you can do that quite easily right there. So looking at your kitchen, now again, I mentioned that this is very similar to the 247 Explorer, the bunkhouse. The difference is now that you have a slide out with the refrigerator and your cooktop, that's going to give you more counter space. And obviously, you know you can have a few more drawers, a couple more drawers, but look, that's a full extension drawer glide, as you can see. And you're going to have more storage down below, obviously. Makes it quite nice. So that's all right here in your sink area. Notice how the outlet's still down on the countertop. That way there, you're, when you're plugging in your coffee maker, it's going to be able to reach it. And of course, you have the cabinets up above. That's, you know, nice and deep there. These will be a little more shallow, but nice deep cabinet. Nice big sink with the high-rise faucet, and that faucet does pull out. So you're able to do that. Now there you have, of course, your cooktop, three burner cooktop with the oven. That's a nice, good size oven as well, as you can see there. Have a nice big drawer down below it. Full extension drawer glide there. This is the three burner cooktop that you have with the vent fan going to the outside. You have your microwave above there. And then you have your Dometic refrigerator with a drawer down below it. So you're able to store a few things down there if you need to. Now on this refrigerator, I have a video I'll link on this to show you how to properly operate this. There's some people that just don't understand a couple things because they were never taught, but the video will walk you through this so that way there you can maximize the usage of your refrigerator. So that is the kitchen area. Now because of the fact we do have a slide out, now you're going to actually have a trifold bed here. I'm going to show you just in a little bit how to use that. You had the 110 outlet back there on the wall. And then right above this, this is where you have your Coleman Mach thermostat for your heat and AC. Now right now I'm running the air conditioner. Nice thing with this Coleman Mach air conditioner, this is the same one that they use in the Imagine, the regular Transcend, the Reflection, as well as the Solitudes and Momentums. The good thing about it is they're very quiet. As you can hear, I mean, I have, I'm sitting here speaking to you at normal levels. But even the better thing about this is the fact that it has the quick cool feature. You know, so you're hot, you came in from outside, you're able to open up that dump valve, stand under it, and cool yourself off. Or if you want to cool this room off a little bit quicker, you're able to open those. It'll take some of the air away from the ductwork and cool off this area. So that is the air conditioner here. So now, if you wanted to go ahead and make this a bed, nice thing is by the time we fold this thing out of here, you're not going to have any, you're not going to have uh, anything blocking. You're still going to be able to get past here to get to the bathroom. Now these cushions I just taken off. If you want, once you put put this out, you can put those on the back end if need be. So you take the cushions off. This is just going to lift up here, and you're going to notice you have two legs down below. This opens up here and this will fold down right here. So as you can see, I can still get by here if need be, so that you know, you're know you not blocking off the bathroom. And then all you do to put it away, you're just gonna fold this back up here. Now we lift this, we're just gonna fold in back both of the legs and it'll drop down right in place. And you just put these cushions back and you're back in business. It is that simple. So for the dinette booth here, one thing that's not on right now, we'll have actually blue lights, lighting that will come out. You'll be able to see it down through this area here. Um, right now it's not working, but that will be there. But this does fold down to a bed, and you will actually have storage on here. Let me show you what the storage looks like under here. So removing the cushions and the board, you can see here this is the front dinette. That boxed in area, that is for the fresh water fill. And then in your rear one, you're actually going to have the full length. 
Now, to break this down to a bed, you're just going to take this table off the legs, and then they're going to sit on either side on these here. And then you put the cushions across there, and you've got another bed for yourself. Now above your dinette area there, you have a nice location for a TV. And it is wired already set up, so these wires are coming right off your AM FM CD stereo with a DVD player. So you actually have a DVD player which will play through the stereo speakers. And it's directly across from the sofa. Now, I have the air conditioner running and it's on high fan. Um, and the nice thing about this is that you're not, uh, it's not gonna affect you watching TV or listening to music for that matter. And of course, in the back, you're going to have your bunks. Now, because this one has the kitchen, you're going to have less space underneath here, but you do have storage space. And then, of course, that's the, for the back of your water heater, and it has the normal operation as well as a winterization on how to set the water heater and so forth. Right there makes it, in plain English, making it easy. You have lights and windows for both of the beds. And you really don't need a ladder for this for, for the children to get up on there because they can just, using this dinette booth, get up to that upper bunk very easily. Now you're going to notice for the bunks that you're going to have your USB, you have two USBs, as well as 110 outlets, making it easy for them to recharge their little gaming systems, phones, whatever. Looking in the bathroom, you're going to notice you have a nice good size shower, and that's going to have the skylight. Do you have the little vent fan here, nice thing with that, you don't have to have a window open. AC duct, as well as a heat duct in the bathroom. Storage back behind the toilet there. It is a foot pedal toilet. And then of course you have your corner sink with storage. And you do have your little medicine cabinet. And you can see you have your little hangers there. And notice the curtain rod is, is a little curved to the out, giving you a little bit more room inside of that shower. Now, although you do have a fan over top of your stove top, you do have a fan right here in your kitchen. Nice thing with this fan, you can always upgrade it to a, uh, one of the fantastic fans if you wanted to, but the beauty of this style is that you do not have to have a window or door open in order to use it, and it will exhaust the fumes from the kitchen area. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the all-new Transcend Explorer. This is the 261 bunkhouse. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you do ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. I do appreciate you watching. Uh, I will have all the specifications and pricing just after this video. Uh, do reach out to me if you have any questions. Contact information will be below and at the end. Uh, but uh, again, I do appreciate you watching. Lots of stuff coming down the pipe. Uh, I've got an ebook that I'm working on, so do stay tuned for that, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care.